Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. You are welcome to my YouTube channel Pharmacy with Heyman. As usual, today I am here to present with a new educational video which is just the source from which we can get the substance or medicine which can treat our ailments or diseases. So if you are new for this channel, please subscribe my channel and you can check the videos which I have already posted in my channel. So let's start our video on the topic source of drugs. Our ancestors or our forefathers in the ancient period they used to treat themselves by the nature drugs which they used to get from natural sources but now due to the scientific development and the progress we have many sources from which we can get the drugs you can see the sources of drug in the current period such as the drugs which are obtained from various sources are natural source in natural source also there are four sources that is plant source, animal source, mineral source and the microorganism source as these are the conventional medicinal source and other three are their semi-synthetic source in which some chemical changes are made in the naturally available compounds which is known as the semi-synthetic source and synthetic source means purely they can mimic the structure of the chemical which we we can obtain from the nature and next one is biosynthetic source means by the use of bacteria viruses and by the genetic modification we can get drugs which can treat our ailments so semi-synthetic synthetic and biosynthetic sources are novel or new source of drugs whereas natural source is the oldest source of drug in plant source we can get medicines or drugs from the several part of plants such as roots leaves or barks even from fruit seeds also we can get the drugs few drugs or chemicals which you get from plant are alkaloids glycosides resins tannins gums and oils so, uh, that is uh, volatile oil and uh, fixed oil we'll study in detail we'll discuss in detail about chemicals which you get from the plant source as you can see that we can get alkaloid which is the nitrogenous heterocyclic base and pharmacologically active it is composed of carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen they are bitter in taste and often poisonous some example of alkaloids are atropine which is obtained from the atropa belladonna from the part root or leaves and another example is quinine which is obtained from the bark of chinchona plant next one is morphine which is the potent opioid analgesic obtained from seeds of papaver somniferum next one is the glycosides glycosides are the substance which consists of sugar molecule and the non-sugar molecule where sugar molecule does not have pharmacological activity and the non-sugar part has pharmacological activities whereas sugar molecule have only pharmacokinetic properties some examples are digitoxin digoxin which is obtained from digitalis lanata and digitalis purpurea and another is ovain which is obtained from estrophanthus gratus ovain is also the potent cardiac stimulant and another is resin Resin are the solid substance found in plant and are the polymers of volatile oil. They are produced by the oxidation and polymerization of volatile oils and they are insoluble in water whereas they are soluble in alcohol, chloroform and the ethers. Some examples of resin you can see that is gum resin which is also known as asafoetida. You might have heard about this. Asafoetida means in our Hindi and Nepalese language it is called as the hing. Uh, it's used, used as carminative as well as the spices in our home, in our kitchen. Next is balsams. Balsams means benzoin, tolu and peru. They all are the examples of resin. Tannins. Tannins are the non-nitrogenous phenolic plant constraints. They have the astringent action. And some example of tannins is from chinchona bark, melfern, tea leaves and wild cherry bark and the resource for tannin is amla etc and next one is gum gum is the viscous or 
colloidal exudates which is obtained from the plant chemically they are the polysaccharides and simple sugar they can yield when they are hydrolyzed upon addition of water some of them swell or dissolve or form a adhesive mucilage or remains unchanged some examples are gum acacia and gum tragacanth which are uh, mainly used for the pharmaceutical excipients for the manufacturing of tablet and capsules and several drug doses form next is oil which are classified into volatile oil and fixed oil volatile oil are also known as the essential oils which have essence essence means smell they are uh, not deteriorated after keeping for a long time they have a nice aromatic smell and often from leaves and flower petals by the distillation by the steam distillation process they are non caloric and of no food values and they are not used to form soaps and alkali for example clove oil peppermint oil eucalyptus oil and ginger oil these are the example of volatile oil next is fixed oil fixed oil means which, which is not evaporated at the room temperature which is in the li liquid viscous form which is obtained from the seeds by the pressing or by squeezing it by the high pressure they are not volatile and leaves greasy stain on evaporation they have caloric as well as the food value they are used to form some soaps and alkalis and they became rancid after keeping for a long time rancid means it will leave a very foul smell some example of fixed oil are olive oil castor oil croton oil and peanut oil let's enter in our natural source that is animal source some animal source continue to be used to procure some modern drugs because of conversion and expensive procedure for the synthesis of such drugs and some example of natural animal sources are from the pancreas of cow we can get insulin which is used in the type 1 diabetes mellitus from the sperm of fish we can get protamine sulfate which is the antidote of heparin from the intestine of fig we can get heparin which is used as the anticoagulant from the lungs of ox also we can get the heparin which is used as the anticoagulant in the medical field another is mineral source mineral source or their salts are useful pharmacotherapeutic agent as we know that ferrous sulfate is used in anemia which is caused by the iron deficiency which is known as the iron deficiency anemia magnesium sulfate which is used as a purgative and magnesium trisilicate aluminum hydroxide and sodium bicarbonate these three are used as the antacids which are used to decrease our gastric acidity aluminum silicate which is also known as kaolin is the adsorbent can be used as an antidote or adsorbent of the toxins from our body some radioactive isotopes of iodine phosphorus and gold are used for the diagnosis as well as the treatment of malignant conditions you might have heard about the radiotherapy in radiotherapy mainly phosphorus and iodine isotopes are used the microbiological source is as you already know that there are certain medically important fungi mold and bacteria are present in our environment you might know that penicillin was the first antibiotic which was obtained from the penicillinium notatum fungi by sir alexander fleming next antibiotic which is found from fungi is chloramphenicol obtained from streptomyces venezuelae grasofulvin which is obtained from penicillium grasofulvum neomycin obtained from streptomyces freddi streptomycin is obtained from streptomyces gracius and you can see this diagram uh, it is shown that how we can obtain the antibiotics from the fungal culture you can see that penicillium colony it's a big white patch is there and uh, this is small patches means it is a normal bacterial colony and the dark part is the area of inhibition of bacterial growth and another is semi synthetic source semi synthetic source means the natural drug is treated chemically to either isolate its active ingredient or to modify it or they are also used to remove the some 
toxic or harmful part or structure from the parent structure. It is prepared by chemically modifying substances that are available from natural source to improve its potency, efficacy and also reduces its toxicity as I already told you. And some examples are morphine, chorine, heroin, etc are semi-synthetic drugs produced from opium while cocaine is a semi-synthetic drug produced from the coca plant. And you can see one example is this artemisinin which is the naturally obtained drug from artemisia and by the methylation and reduction we can form new chemical which is known as the artemeter used in malaria used in the treatment of malaria another source is synthetic source where the pharmacological activity of a drug depend on this chemical source and in at present majority of drugs used in chemical practice are prepared synthetically such as aspirin oral diabetic agents antihistaminics amphetamine chloram, chloroquine and chlorpromazine they are chemically pure and preparing process is easier cheaper and to control the quality of drug is excellent as i told you example are aspirin oral antidiabetic antihistaminic amphetamine chloroquine chlorpromazine etc and this is the example we can see that morphine is naturally obtained and heroin fentanyl tramadol these are synthetically synthesized in our laboratory which have the pure structure and cheaper process than the obtaining of morphine from the nature another the warming and new technology to get the drug the modern source of drug is biosynthetic where it is also known as the genetically engineered drug where drugs are discovered from molecular biology recombinant dna technology dna alteration gene splicing immunology and immunopharmacology by all these field we can synthesize a drug by using some genes and some bacteria and viruses to get drug from them you can see example that is genetically engineered novel vaccine which is used against the hepatitis b which is known as recombivax hb next example is recombinant dna engineered insulin which is also known as the humulin which is used for diabetes it is the anti-diabetic hormone in before or previous days insulin was insulin was used to isolate from the pancreas of pigs but they are they are having some hypersensitivity reaction or antigenic property that's why biosynthetic or recombinant dna technology is followed for the synthesis of insulin by the use of bacteria e coli you can see the example is they are using genes to program cell to become a cellular factories and they will form several molecules which we need such as growth hormone insulin and hepatitis b vaccine thank you for watching if you like this video friends please like and share and don't forget to subscribe and press bell icon so that you can get information about my upcoming new video stay safe stay healthy keep watching be updated thank you friends